In today's video, I'm formulating a gel moisturizer for oily skin. This moisturizer works perfectly as a mattifying moisturizer. It is very lightweight, has easy spreadability, rubs into the skin immediately, and is formulated with ingredients specifically to help with oily and acne prone skin. So let's get into it. I'm gonna be making a 100 gram batch of this moisturizer. And I'm starting with phase A. Phase A consists of distilled water, liquid dermal plus, niacinamide, an aloe vera 200 times powder. I have 78.9 grams of distilled water in this beaker, along with 0.5 grams of liquid dermal plus. This is the preservative. I'm gonna start by dissolving 0.05 grams of aloe vera powder into my water. This is essentially how you make aloe vera juice instead of buying it by the gallon. Mix it in until the aloe vera powder dissolves. Next, I'm adding in two grams of niacinamide. Niacinamide can improve the appearance of enlarged pores, uneven skin tone, fine lines, dullness, and helps improve the overall appearance of skin. Mix in the niacinamide until it dissolves. Next up is phase B. I'll be adding the ingredients from phase B into phase A. Phase B includes glycerin, propendyl, willow bark extract, and witch hazel extract. I'll be adding in two grams of glycerin. Glycerin is a humectant that will help hydrate the skin, I'm also adding in three grams of propendyl. This is also a humectant that will help hydrate the skin. Then three grams of willow bark extract. Willow bark extract gently exfoliates the skin, enhances cell turnover, acts as a natural antimicrobial agent, and an anti-inflammatory. Witch hazel extract can help treat oily skin. It is an anti-inflammatory and soothes the skin. I added in two grams of it. Now it's time to work on phase C. Phase C consists of gel maker NAT, squalane, and vitamin E oil. I'm adding in three grams of gel maker NAT into my beaker. Gel maker NAT is able to produce cold emulsions. It can emulsify up to 35% of oils, and it makes gels with a smooth nude skin feel with a non-sticky texture. I also added in 5 grams of squalane, which is the clear liquid here, and 0.5 grams of vitamin E, which is the yellow liquid here. Squalane is a non-greasy, oil-soluble emollient that is capable of mixing with sebum present on the skin. This may help reduce the viscosity of sebum to minimize its greasy feel. And vitamin E is an antioxidant that is best known for maintaining skin's health. Mix all the ingredients together, and now it's time to emulsify the two together. Pour phase A and B into phase C and mix with a high shear mixer like an immersion blender. The moisturizer should thicken up to look like this. If you want it to be thicker, you can use 4% gel maker NAT instead of 3%. As you can see, the gel looks fairly thick, but it actually has a very lightweight feel to it and immediately absorbs into the skin without any white residue left over. This is a perfect formula if you're looking for a mattifying moisturizer. The next thing I did is test the pH. If you would like to learn how to test and balance pH levels of cosmetics, I will link to some videos in the description box below. The natural pH of this product fell right at 6, which is perfect for this formula as it contains niacinamide. Niacinamide is recommended to be used in formulas with a pH of 6. I wouldn't recommend going any lower than 5.5 as low pH levels can cause niacinamide to be very irritating to the skin. So I let my gel moisturizer sit overnight before packing it in my jar. Well, actually it's been a couple days now, which is why my nails are a completely different color. Either way, I packed up the moisturizer in a jar and added on a label. If you would like to learn how to make your own labels, I will link to a video in my description box, along with a video that talks about the FDA regulations for labeling cosmetics sold on the market. And that brings us to the end of the recipe. So since I don't have oily skin, I can't really give a full review on this moisturizer myself, but I do think it feels really, really nice on the skin. It's mattifying and it absorbs immediately into the skin, which are all things people with oily skin look for in a moisturizer. If you have oily skin and you try out this recipe, let me know what you think in the comments. So here's the formula to the recipe, that way you can scale it to however much you want to make. If you didn't know, formulas for cosmetics are written in percents. This way you can make sure you are using safe, accurate amounts of your ingredients, and it makes it easier to scale the recipe to the batch size you want to make. If you don't know how to transfer a formula from percents into a recipe in grams, I will link to a video down below 
that explains how to do that. I also want to mention that I have a blog post over on Patreon that goes right along with this video. There's also a PDF file that you can download, that way you can actually print out the recipe. I also post two exclusive videos every month over on Patreon. My Patreon will be linked down in the description box. So with all that said, let's move on to the Patreon shoutouts. At Stardust Bath & Body, Nature's Farm Girl, Kennedy's Essentials, Let's Blend, Creative with Love, Wallflower Wildflower, Heartfelt Beauty, KAJ Bath & Body, Blue Mint Soaps, Salt Air Label, Lenise Beauty, Shark City Naturals, Ohana Lay, Danny Botanicals, at Nino55, Kay and Cool, Kimpy Girl, Brie Maquillage, Alchemy and Clay, and Bible Belt Boutique. I also sell skincare products myself over on Etsy. My Etsy shop will be linked below along with all my lovely patrons. So I hope you all enjoyed this recipe. If you try it out, let me know your thoughts. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Later. I'm stuck in the motions.